I'm going to take a couple minutes to go over the requirements to the co-op program and where within our co-op uh, web pages you can find this information. I'll also review the co-op application with you. To get to the co-op web pages within our UHCOP website, first go to uh.edu forward slash pharmacy. Go to Prospective Students, then click on PharmD Professional Program. From there, use the drop-down menu on the left to get to Cooperative Programs. Here you will see your co-op program listed. Click on Lamar and you'll see our requirements along with a lot of, a lot of helpful information. To begin with, we're, gonna, we're looking at several factors. SAT and ACT scores. We want to know how well you did on the SAT and a or ACT exam, so definitely get those scores to us. Of course, you must be admitted into Lamar University as an incoming student or as incoming freshman student right out of high school. You need to have completed at least 12 and no more than 30 semester hours at Lamar University by the time you apply to the co-op. An exception to that would be if you completed college courses through dual enrollment or through AP or CLEP credit. In that situation, if those credit hours added together with what you earned at Lamar put you over that 30 uh, credit hours mark, it would not count against you. You would still be considered for the co-op. As far as courses, you must have completed uh, one math and one science course during the fall semester at Lamar. An overall 3.2 GPA and a 3.2 math science GPA is recommended. Uh, these fall semester math and science courses do not have to specifically be PharmD prerequisites, which I'll get to when we discuss the application in more detail. Now let's go over what you need to gather for your co-op application packet. For the co application packet, you'll need to gather all the required items and get them submitted to your medical pre-professional programs office at Lamar University no later than March 1st. You need to complete the co-op application which I'll get to in ba back to in just a minute. Now the link to the co-op application is listed within our co-op web pages. Um, there is a $100 application fee as well. You'll need a sealed official high school transcript. So go ahead and have your high school send one to you directly, keep it in the sealed envelope from the school, and then you can include it with your packet. You'll need SAT and or ACT scores. Now these may already be listed within your high school transcript or within your college transcript. Now, if you need assistance obtaining SAT or ACT scores, reach out to your pre-health advisor, Mrs. Birch at Lamar, and see if she can assist. You will need official uh, final transcripts from all colleges you have attended in a sealed envelope from each school. It, if you have dual credit earned while in high school, be sure to get an official college transcript from that college through which you earned that dual credit. You'll need to write a typed personal statement, double-spaced, one to two pages long, letting us know why you chose the, a career in pharmacy and what distinguishes you from other applicants. You will also need three letters of reference. Now, they can come from the following individuals. A high school teacher or, high school, or a school counselor, um, a college professor or academic advisor, um, a pharmacist or an employer or, or even a, super, a volunteer supervisor. It may even be a personal reference. All these must be folks living in the U.S. If you have a person in mind, but you're not sure if they would be appropriate, simply reach out to us directly at UHCOP and ask. For the letters of reference, you will need to complete the first page of the PDF, save it, then email it directly as an attachment to your reference person to complete. He or she will then complete pages two through four. They are welcome to add their own reference letter, just so long as they are sure to complete pages 2 and 3 and upload it to the bit.ly link listed on the form. I recommend seeking out people who are willing to write you a strong letter of reference way ahead of time, so he or she will have plenty of lead time to complete the reference form before the deadline. Now let's delve into the co-op application itself. Now the link to the co-op application is listed within the, our co-op webpage. Page one reiterates the requirements and the application checklist. You'll note that the $100 application fee is paid by check or money order made payable to the UH College of Pharmacy. 
Page two is mainly your contact information and optional ethnic information. For your cell phone, be sure that your voicemail is set up so that we can leave a message if needed. Now page three is where you list your SAT and ACT score information along with any disciplinary information from your college career. You also need to list colleges attended and your high school. On page four, you list the names of your references and, their, and your background information. Just answer it to your comfort level. Now for your high school, awards, extracurriculars, volunteerism, work experience, and so on, do provide this information to us to the best of your ability. This will help the committee see your involvement outside the classroom, in high school, and during your college career so far. On page five, you've, if you've already completed some PharmD prerequisite courses, be sure to check them off. Page six, let us know the courses you are currently taking and the courses you have planned. If you do not have everything planned out, planned farther out, just complete it to the best of your knowledge at the point you submit the application. Now for page seven. Inform us how many hours you have completed thus far and the number of hours you are taking in the spring semester. So page eight discusses the need for your references. It also points out that as a co-op applicant, you may be invited to an interview day with the UH College of Pharmacy. These, these interview days are currently being conducted through Zoom, but may switch be switched back to in-person interviews at some point in the future on site here at the UH College of Pharmacy in Houston, Texas. Page 9 through 13 is the residency questionnaire needed for tuition purposes. Just fill it out to the best of your ability. Uh, pages 14 through 16 details are technical standards which all UHCOP PharmD students must be willing and able to successfully perform. Page 17 and 18 articulates important disclosures for students once they begin the PharmD program. Finally, page 19 is the certification page acknowledging that everything you've completed within your application packet is accurate. Once you've completed the 19-page application, we strongly encourage you to keep a copy for yourself. To summarize, here are the items needed for your co-op application packet. The completed co-op application, the $100 sub application fee, check or money order, all college transcripts sealed by the institution, SAT or ACT scores, official high f sealed high school transcript your, and your one or two page personal statement. So get all that to the Medical Pre-Professional Programs Office at Lamar by March 1st. The only other item is the three letter of reference forms which you provide to your references and they upload it directly to UHCOP by March 1st through that bit.ly link. I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you need assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to me. My email is morgan at uh.edu. My telephone number is 713-743-1291. And my contact information is listed in, in the contacts link.